In this Radian 6 tutorial, we will be covering the Topic Trends widget. The Topic Trends widget uses your topic profile results to illustrate trends and conversations that occur for key issues and topics. What are the benefits of using the Topic Trends widget? First, you can view buzz surrounding your topic. And secondly, you can see how your topic trends up and down over time. As a matter of fact, you can view how your topic is trending hourly to see what conversations are taking place around your topic and more. First, let's go and configure our Topic Trends widget. We're going to take our cursor and move it to this logo, the Topic Trends logo. We're going to double click and get a box. If you've watched our other tutorials, it's much like configuring the other widgets. Again, we're going to give it a name, this time Gourmet Ice Cream, as we've done in our other tutorials. And wow! Here's Gourmet Ice Cream because we've set this up in our original topic profile. We'll hit the plus sign and it will move to selected profiles. Now, if I choose Use Topic here, this was set up in our topic profile originally and it will show us our competitors, our brands, and our industry. Or I could use keywords. First, it's going to make me enter a keyword like Gourmet Ice Cream, which I'll do. Or I could also do an ad hoc search and add that here as well. Next, I'm going to select this button, Add Query. Keyword Groups. Choose the keyword group that you want to add and display. Gourmet Ice Cream, yes. Now, when we first set up our topic profile, we put in competitors, Dove, Ben & Jerry's, Magnum, and haagen -Dazs. Let's use Dove. It says keyword group gourmet ice cream Dove. Includes the following keywords Dove. Excludes the following keywords ice milk, skin care, soap, novelty ice cream, sorbet, moisturizer, and soy. Again, we configured this in our first tutorial setting up your topic profile. If I didn't want to use Dove, I could go to my other competitors. Or I could just look at overall gourmet ice cream. For this example, let's have fun and use Dove. Add Query. You'll notice a color, by the way. Now, why would I want to change color? Of course I could change a color if I wanted to go with the corporate color. Say the corporate color is blue, so I'm going to choose blue. And later on, when I print out our, my report, it will show blue. Next, we have a section, Real-Time Monitoring. Again, it's one day ago through 30 days ago and that will give us information if we choose 30 days the last information on Dove ice cream, gourmet ice cream over the past 30 days. If I use one day, it's over the past 24 hours. For this example, like the other tutorials, we'll use seven days ago. I could also specify a date range with a start date and end date if I wanted to. I'll go back to real-time monitoring and now I'm going to move down to the bottom part of the screen and this, these are my media types. I could click on and off them if I want, but these were set up again in our first tutorial. And these are, I have Twitter, Facebook, comments, images, videos, mainstream news, blogs, forums, and forum replies. I prefer those, so I'll keep them and hit done. As you can see, I have my widget set up here. Now if I mouse over it, I could look at posts that come into the topic profile at a specific time and date. If I click on one, for instance at this high point, which is August 7th at 10 a.m., I have an option, a menu option, to open a river of news or a conversation cloud. If I open the river of news, I could get more information as to what exactly is going on with Dove ice cream at that point in time. We've covered these widgets in other tutorials, so I'm not going to cover them here. But as you can see, this is really useful in discovering who's saying what about my brand at a specific time. I'm going to delete this widget for this tutorial. I can also see at the bottom what's going on here. And open, I ha again, I could open up a conversation cloud or river of news. Let's try Conversation Cloud. 
And again, I'm going to get words associated with my brand at that specific time. And if I want to hit a specific word, I can and get a whole other options, widget options. Again, we've discussed these widgets in other tutorials, so I'm going to click off. Now, if I want to hit this on the bottom left, gourmet ice cream, I could trend by sediment, that's positive, negative, or neutral, just by hitting this. And again, I can mouse over or click on more for more details. I could also trend by language, but in our original topic profile setup, we chose English. So only English will show up. However, I could select media type. And look, I have videos, images, Facebook, blogs, form replies, and all the other media sources we selected in our setup. And if I click on one of these, I could look at what's going on and how many posts there are at a specific point in time. And I could open up further widgets to understand what conversations are going on surrounding Dove Gourmet Ice Cream via these media sources. Finally, I could trend by region. Let's open that up. And again, when we set this up, we only did United States. So it's clear that I, only the United States is trending here. So I'm not going to even show you that. But you get the picture. If you selected Midwest, East, different regions, they would all show up. This concludes our tutorial on topic trends. I hope you'll join us for our further tutorials. And if you have any questions, please see one of us in the department for more help. Thank you. Bye-bye.